this course covers everything that a student needs to become involved in the multimedia or the gaming industries. So we initially start off with a solid foundation in computer science and software engineering. And then we start moving on to the kind of tools that students would, would need to know before they can become involved in these kind of industries. Well, in first year, it's, it's all about learning the basics and the fundamentals of, of computer programming. So a lot of first year is, is learning computer science and learning how to program in the first place. Then once the students are more experienced, they go on to second year and they might start with some, some basic game concepts. And after that, then students typically go on co-op for nine months where ideally they're working with a games company here in Ireland. Then later in the course, they'll go on to games design, which would be taking a game from the initial concept right through storyboarding and programming and generating the video, audio, and then essentially come up with a game prototype. This is a very new course, and it's actually a very unusual course in Ireland. There's very few games courses available at, at third level at the moment. The great thing about this course is that it's an interesting mix between science and arts, and students on this course have access to all sorts of exotic technologies that are used by people working in those industries. For example, our students can produce games that can actually run directly on an Xbox. This might be a typical fourth year project for somebody. There's a lot of group work in this course, and students would have an opportunity to take a game from an initial concept right through to working on an actual gaming platform. Typically there's about between 40 and 50 students coming into first year in a course like this and there's a lot of interaction with, with the faculty members in the course, mainly through the project work where the members of staff will help advise students on their projects. On completion of this course the students have a very large choice of the kind of career opportunities they want to do. First of all because there's such a, there's such a grounding in the fundamentals of computer science they can go to any sort of programming career, not just in the games industry. However, a lot of students will go on to working in the games industry, perhaps in video production, or in any kind of multimedia industry such as web development. There's also a lot of postgraduate opportunities, and particularly because this is such a new course, there's just not a lot of people around with these kind of qualifications. There's a lot of opportunities for master students or PhDs. The ideal student in a, in a course like this clearly has an interest in multimedia and games to begin with, but also has an interest in problem solving, because this is a very creative course, as a lot of opportunity for students to become involved in this kind of thing.